Self Love is the New Sexy, the podcast devoted to helping you overcome life's most painful and stubborn challenges so you can feel great, have more energy, and live stress free every day. To reach your full potential, simply work with the powerful spiritual principles that are readily accessible to everyone. It's easier than you think. And on today's show, W. Mark Watts is going to show you how starting with self love is the key to joyously and harmoniously making that happen. Hey everybody, it's W. Mark Watts. Want to say hello, welcome, and thank you for hanging out with me for another episode of Self Love is a New Sexy. And today I want to let you off the hook completely. And I want you to let yourself off the hook completely. What do I mean by that? Why do I say that? Because nobody's perfect. So today's topic is nobody's perfect. And that includes me and that includes you. So I hope that you will take a big sigh of relief now because I know for years that was one of my issues, one of my many issues uh, along this journey is wanting everything to be perfect. I mean, I can remember going back as far as grade school in elementary school on a test, always wanting to get 100. On my assign homework assignments, always wanting to get a, a 100. You know, on everything I did, I wanted to get a 100 or an A. And if I didn't, or if I came close to not getting that, then I was disappointed with myself. I mean, I felt like I was letting myself down. And it, it was that way in, in athletics, you know, when I played basketball and football. Of course, I wanted to be the best at my position. I wanted to be the fastest. I wanted to win every game. You know, every, you know, when you're practicing, coaches oftentimes make it, you know, it's about competition. So whatever they were doing, if we were running practice drills, I wanted to be, you know, in the top tier of that group. I wanted to understand the drill. I wanted to do it right. I wanted to do it perfectly. I wanted the coach to acknowledge that I knew what I was doing and I was executing perfectly. And, you know, it gets to a point where, when you aren't reaching that level of perfection, you know, when you do it a couple times back to back, then that creates a real problem. Because in your mind, you think, I should be perfect. I'm good at this. I'm used to being good at things. I have to be good at things, and and, you know, at everything. And, you know, when that happened to me, or when I would lose, then, I felt really bad. I was really down. I was sad and I couldn't wait until the next time I had an opportunity to prove to myself and to everybody else who was paying attention that I could be really good at it, that I could, you know, get an A or be 100 or do it perfectly and that I didn't make mistakes. That's another thing, too. I want to mention that, too, is, you know, being perfect or trying to be perfect we oftentimes put that pressure on ourselves to not make mistakes, which in and of itself is a huge mistake. Why? Because we are all going to make mistakes. We all have made mistakes. I know I've made too many to keep count of, and I know that as long as I continue to be here on earth, guess what? I am going to continue to make mistakes. And we have to really be okay with that. We have to really become good with the fact that we are not going to be perfect we are not we are going to make mistakes and here's the great part about it is everyone around you is in the same boat regardless of who it is parents teachers you know anybody that you look up to you know politicians every coaches your best friends your spouses or mates, your sisters and brothers, everybody, your kids are going to make mistakes. And and they are, some of them may have that syndrome where they want to be perfect and it's not possible. And it creates so much stress and so much doubt and so much fear for, for no reason. And all that tends to, you know, 
make us make it easier for us to not live the happy life that we want to live because we're constantly thinking about the wrong things and fearing things that we should not fear. And even, again, telling ourselves stories that we should not tell. I mean, who told us that we had to be perfect? Who told us that we had to make 100? Who told, no one told me that I had to do that drill perfectly. But the issue was, wasn't that I had to do it perfectly, it was that I enjoyed the fact that I took great satisfaction when people recognized that I was good at something and that I could execute and I could consistently be good. That made me feel good. So I was a, I was a junkie on recognition. I was a junkie for people recognizing my talents and my gifts and my abilities and my willingness and my work, my work ethic. And so once I realized that, then the ball game became a whole new world. We hope you're enjoying today's show. If so, please take a moment to show your support for the show by leaving us a five-star rating and review on iTunes. If you have questions for W. Mark Watts, please feel free to contact him over at WMarkWatts.com, on Instagram at WMarkWatts, or on Facebook at Self Love is the New Sexy. And believe me now, it didn't happen. This didn't happen when I was young. It had to be brought to my attention by a mentor, a, a great mentor of mine. And, you know, and that was another eye opening moment for me. And it was so great because and what, here's the funny thing is I had such a hard time allowing myself not to be perfect and not to, uh, you know, want to get that 100 on a test, not to be the best at a drill. And. It was so, I, I didn't realize how much I was stressing myself out and how much every time I did something, my first thought was, I want to do it to the best. I want to do it better than anybody else. I want to do it better than anybody else. Now, that's okay. That's not a bad thing to, to be because I'm always going to, to have some bit of that in me. And that's good because that keeps me driving. That keeps me hungry. And that's just part of who I am. However, the flip side of that, what happened was I realized that when I wasn't the best or when I didn't get the best grade or I didn't execute the way that I imagined I would have executed, when I let myself off the hook and not made it such a big deal, nothing happened. The world still turned. The sun came up the next day. My friends were still my friends. My family was still my family. And my life was still my life. Very little changed when I became good with the fact that I didn't have to be perfect. I didn't have to be number one. Didn't have to be the best. And so now I feel really good about how I've let myself off the hook. How I allow myself to not be perfect and to make mistakes. There's no way I could do what I do now, you know, uh, learn investing, be an entrepreneur, coach other people, which it took me a while to get to the point where I was comfortable coaching other people because I thought if I'm not perfect, if I can't be the best, then I shouldn't do it. And a coach of mine told me, well, then you're never going to achieve the level of success that you want. You're never going to be able to carry out your mission if you want that to be the issue because the issue is not about me. It's about you. It's about the universe. It's about humanity and your willingness and ability to serve. It's not about me. And so once I stopped thinking about me and how I was performing and started to focus on everyone else and my, my mission and serving, it became a lot easier for me to forget about being perfect and making mistakes. And now... I make mistakes, I still make mistakes. And it's not a big deal because what happens when you make those mistakes, you learn a great deal about yourself and about the situation and about what you're trying to accomplish. And it, it's helpful. It's your own self-help. 
So now, again, you know, I always talk and the, the, my real motive for doing this podcast is to help you reframe and reshape the way we look at things. So I want you to reframe and reshape the way you look at mistakes because mistakes are simply your own self-help mechanism. It's your own self-tweaking tool because the information that you gather, the experience that you get, the knowledge that you obtain from making mistakes puts you light years ahead of the next time you attempt to do whatever it is you're attempting to do. So now you have an, a full backdrop. You have experience now and you know what worked in that situation and what didn't work in that situation. So now you can move forward and make your next attempt, make that next chapter, your, your, the next step on your journey much more powerful because you've had that experience now. So mistakes are a good thing. And it also means this, when you make mistakes, it means that you're trying, you're trying, you're really trying. In most cases, you're trying. And in a lot of cases, people don't make a lot of mistakes because they aren't willing to try. They aren't willing to push the envelope. They aren't willing to be uncomfortable. And that's okay for those who want to live that type of life. But for those of you who are listening to my podcast, that's not you. You want to push the envelope. You like living on the edge. You like pushing yourself. You like learning new things. You like being your best. You like getting good grades or, or you like being really good at your job or good in your relationship. So you're, you're a high achiever and that's great. But in route, as a part of that, we are going to make mistakes and that's a good thing. And so now I'm really comfortable with making mistakes. Of course, I do all I can to put my best foot forward and give my best effort. But when it doesn't pan out the way that I don't, that I didn't, in, that I envisioned it to pan out, I'm okay with it. I evaluate what happened, make my next plan. If I need to lick a wound, if I need to shed a tear, if I need to have a moment alone, I take that moment, do what I need to do to get myself back together, and then I keep moving forward. Because now I'm a lot more powerful. I have a lot more knowledge than I had five minutes ago. So, just want to encourage you to not worry about, don't worry about being perfect. Please don't worry about and get caught up in making mistakes. The most successful people on this planet have all made numerous, many mistakes. And if you listen to any of their stories, they'll tell you they've made so many mistakes. But the thing is, they didn't stop. They kept going and they took that knowledge and they did something beautiful. They did something worthy. They did something in many cases epic and they reaped the rewards because they allowed that mistake, those mistakes to fuel them, and they kept going. So that's all I have for you today. I'm going to wrap up here. Uh, if this episode served you in any way, share it, listen to it more than one time. Leave me a comment. You know, Let me know what's going on. Let me know when you're at the point where you're more comfortable not being perfect and making those mistakes. All right, I'm out. I will talk with you all again soon. Be good. Make mistakes. Don't worry about being perfect. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye now. You've been listening to Self Love is the New Sexy with W. Mark Watts. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Also, make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our show on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher Radio, or wherever you listen to podcasts.